Here we go. Okay. I'll take my glasses off. They're calling Nuthouse your long-awaited return to television. <laughs> Who's they? <laughs> the people who write your my press My family, kit. the people I support. <laughs> Have you been waiting a long time? Yeah, you bet. I mean, I went off, uh, I went off uh, the Carol Burnett Show in 1977. I had a couple of shots in my own show, which uh, went in the dumper real fast. And uh, I've done a few movies and a few this is and that's. But the uh, uh, thing I did for Universal a couple of years ago called Leo and Liz. <laughs> So um, it's, an, it's another shot at it, and uh, I love it. I, I, I think this is the best thing I've ever done, uh, the Nut House. It's, we had a great time doing the pilot, and I hope, you know, we can do it every week. Okay, basically, tell me about the plot. What's, what's the show about? Well, the show is really not about anything. It's just a bunch of zany people living and working in this hotel called the Nut House, which takes place in New York. And um, uh, Cloris Leachman plays the, uh, the head housekeeper, and I play the kind of persnickety manager. And we have a, an elevator operator who uh, who's cross-eyed and lets people out in between floors. And uh, <laughs> we have uh, an old uh, doorman that Ronnie Graham plays, and uh, you know he blows the whistle in the lobby for cabs because he's disoriented. So there's a lot of very crazy people working and living in this hotel, and uh, it's just really an excuse to get together, do Mel Brooks material, and, uh, and hopefully have some laugh and funs, and hope that the audience digs it. Is it safe to say that Miss Fitz is in hot pursuit of your character? Yes. Well, it's not Miss Fitz. It's now Miss Frick. Uh, it used to be Miss Fitz, and then when we had the reading, Cloris, who likes to fool around with things, made it Miss, did it with a German accent. So it's now Miss Frick. So she's playing very heavy German, mm -hmm. and she's hilarious. She's wonderful in this, and uh, we have a lot of fun. Since this is a, a Mel Brooks product, I guess yes. we can... Expect all sorts of craziness. <laughs> yes, that's the whole idea. The whole idea is just to be crazy. So there really is, the plots are going to be very thin, I think. And uh, hopefully there'll be some relationships and characters that you'll like, you know, because you must do that in television. You must be likable, <laughs> they say. And, uh, but uh, for the most part, I think it's just going to be wild, zany, crazy comedy. And it's hard to do every week, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. You mentioned you've had a few uh, series go into the dumper. Is yes. that hard to take? I mean, when it going in the dumper, how do you feel about it? <laughs> Seriously. Do you ever go in the dumper? Uh, no. Well, oh, I've been really? Always yes, been a I've success, been canceled. Eh, no, I've been canceled before. You've been canceled. So yeah. how do you feel? Uh, it's terrible. Yeah. Especially in but our see, business. But see, it's not all on me. For you, a lot of it's on you. It's your name that's up there. Yeah, I know. So that's that's the whole point. The point is, you know, that that it's you, and all you have to offer is you. I mean, this is your instrument. This is your this is your tell you what you look like, what you sound like, your idea of what's funny. And if people say no, go away. It it hurts. It hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, when you're rejected, you're rejected, and and it hurts your whole face, and it hurts your whole body. So um, it hurts. And if this thing doesn't go, it's, it'll even hurt. I don't want to. Let's go on to something else. When you look back <laughs> at your old Carol Burnett shows and you yes. see some of the crazy stuff that you guys did. Yes, do you ever we were think, wonderful. Do you, do you ever think, God, I can't believe we did that? No, I can't believe it. And, uh, and so much of it I don't remember having done, you know, because we did. 10 years that's uh, and uh, about 270 or 280 shows of uh, thousands of sketches and we did you know so much i don't even remember half of it but we were so happy it was such a great group uh uh we were really family and when you hear people talk like that about being in series and the chemistry and the closeness it's really true tim and carol and myself and vicky and everything we, I mean, we went through a lot of stuff, marriages, divorces, uh, deaths, and that was just me. And, uh, <laughs> But, I mean, we were all very close, and, uh, and I still see Tim and, and Carol, and uh, uh, you just don't forget that. It's a very intense, special relationship, and to do it every week, to go out there and do what we did every week, it's extraordinary, and I'm really proud of what we did on that show. Have you ever done any straight, just serious acting? Yes, yes. Are you I a used, good, serious actor? I'm a I was talking about it to, to somebody else just a few minutes ago. I, I started out playing Hamlet and, and uh, uh, serious uh, serious roles, dramatic roles, but nobody buys me in that. Nobody wants to cares about that, and uh, they consider me a, uh, a sketch actor, or a sketch comedian, whatever. And you get typed, as you've heard in this business, and it's mm -hmm. pretty hard to get out of it. Yeah, but I, I, I'm very good at that kind of stuff. I never got an opportunity to do it. 
All right, let me talk about your serious side, the uh, Marianne yes. Frostig Center and your work with these people. Yes, yes. Tell me about Well, that. I've been doing a lot of work. I've been doing a lot of work with uh, Marianne Frostig and a lot of charities. As a matter of fact, you know, when you're not working, you know, you know show me a guy without a, a, a television show, I'll show you a humanitarian. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a lot of time suddenly you have free and, and you want to use yourself, you want to contribute, you want to do something, you want to be productive. So I work with the Marianne, raising funds for the school uh, for kids with learning disabilities. I have a son, 22, who, who has that. In fact, he went there for 10 years. And without that school, I don't know how he could have survived. And I have a lot of golf tournaments that I do for leukemia or uh, Rye syndrome. I just had one last week in uh, L.A. with McLean Stevenson and I hosted uh, for this friend of ours who lost uh, her daughter through uh, Rye syndrome. So I do a lot of that stuff because I care about, especially kids, and I, and I hate anything that, that hurts kids. So uh, yeah, I, I, I do a lot of that, and, uh, and I'm happy to be able to contribute. Yeah, I was just going to say, does it feel good to be able to use your star status, yeah, so to speak, you know, what the hell? to help yeah. people out? Sure, you know, and, and, and a lot of celebrities, a lot of guys that I know are happy to do that. You know, you play, uh, you, you have spend a day in a foursome with some guys, and they'll pay three, four hundred dollars to play golf with you and have a dinner that night, and they get a chance to play golf with Mike Connors or Bob Stack or Richard Krenner, whatever, and these guys, this is a way we contribute. Mm -hmm. All right, let me ask you. How does it feel to be back on television? How will it feel to be back on television? I don't know. I don't know because I haven't, I haven't even seen the pilot yet. I, I, when we made it, it felt very good. I mean, I'm really, I, I really want it to work. We have a great cast, and, and, uh, and, and I think it's funny, and, and I feel very excited about doing it. It's for Disney, you know, mm -hmm. uh, D Disney the producers, and, um, and it's always great to be working over there at the Disney Studios in Burbank. It's fun. And... Um, I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, I hope it works. What, uh, what feels real right if about this? If it doesn't this? work, I'm going to really feel bad. There, see, you got me doing it again. Can you, can you get off it? Ask me something else. <laughs> well, we're, we're kind of talking about the new show, Harvey. Yeah, we'll talk about something else. <laughs> Hey, how is Crook and Chase? How are they're they doing? Fine. Were they're they fine. Were they too big to do the interview and they sent one of uh, No, to be honest, one? they're too busy to do the oh, interview. that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but, so what else do you want to know, John? Uh, so how's life? Are you a happy guy? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm happy. I got a fabulous wife and I got two great kids. You know, I'm a new father. I have a four and a six. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a four and a six and a 24 and a 22. That's great. So I, yeah, yeah, it, it keeps you young, as they say. So that's one of the reasons that I wanted to come down to Orlando to show the kids this, uh, this great theme park. It's you have the four and the here. six with you. No, I have, they have the four and the six with me, and, and the 42 is my wife. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Harvey. Good yeah, luck. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Bye. Bye-bye. I love the Bye. title, Nuthouse. Great. Yes, 9.30 Wednesdays. Okay, NBC. thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Get out already. I'm bored with you. <laughs> Bye. Is he gone yet? <laughs> oh.